marriage in fact is a precaution taken by the society that nobody becomes a rebel that nobody becomes an individual marriage is in its naked reality a strategy by the society to keep everybody under control and it is such a subtle way that nobody thinks it at least in the beginning that it is going to be an imprisonment a life long slavery but marriage has been used by all the societies in the world in all the ages past as a psychological imprisonment putting too much burden and responsibility on every individual that he has to kneel down and in jarthustra's words has to become a camel a beast of burden camels don't rebel on the contrary the more burden a camel can carry the more precious he becomes the same is the situation of the married man the more burden he carries of the old parents of the small children of the wife the more respectable the more honored he becomes in the society these are the ways invisible chains that will prevent a man from becoming a rebel but this is only one side the other side is if the man has some courage some intelligence the very burden the very imprisonment will become the cause of rebellion it is just a question of shifting your focus in all the religions there is a way 
acceptable to the society. That is of renouncing the lie and escaping into a monastery or into the mountains. It is an escape. And every escape is cowardly. But the escape is acceptable, not only acceptable, but very prestigious. In the name of religion, in the name of searching for truth, the society allows the individual to escape and drop all the responsibilities. This is a kind of rebelliousness, but the rebelliousness of the coward. Just to keep the society under control, they had to give a little outlet. So the suffocation does not become too much. And they had to make this escapism prestigious. So nobody condemns it. But on the contrary, these cowards are being worshipped as great saints, sages. All that they are is, they had a certain rebelliousness in their mind, but they were without guts. And just a rebelliousness in the mind is of no use. Unless you can act accordingly, Unless you can risk, unless you can take the danger, the married men are unmarried men. The problem is the same. Are you ready? to go against the whole past? Are you ready to go against the whole world? Do you have the courage to stand alone? Will you not start feeling dizzy? seeing that the whole world is against you, will not you start thinking, perhaps, they are right because they are so many, I am alone. Most probably I am not right. And the moment you start feeling this, you will start losing courage. You will start moving towards the prison again. The greatest courageous life in the world is to have guts to stand alone without ever 
bothering about the majority of the world, what their opinion is. But this is possible only when you are rebellious, idea is not borrowed, is not only a thought in the mind, but is a realization. A deep insight into things of your own. If your authority is somewhere else, you cannot have that much courage. If your authority is within you, if you feel that what you are fighting for is your experienced truth, and that it is not to destroy the world, but to create a better world, a better humanity, better people, better individuals, better opportunities for growth for all, then you are the majority of one. And the whole world is the minority of five billion people. Then it does not matter how many people are against you. If the truth is yours, then nothing matters. No wavering ever comes to you. Not even in your dreams. 